Hi, you guys. It's me, Elena. Um, hope everyone's having a great Monday. It's um, about 1.15. It is very hazy and a little bit sunny, which the weather is getting so much like fallish, which I'm so ecstatic and I'm so happy. So um the weather is just getting so much better so i'm waiting till it gets a little colder so i can bring out my fall clothes but um anyways i usually don't record when i'm working on my cricket um maybe i should i just assume that um there's so many cricket videos out there and um and the ones that do have a Cricut machine more or less know how to work it and stuff like that. Um, unless you have a question, if you're stuck in between or whatever. So um, I thought um, I was right here working on my Cricut. Uh, I needed to cut out some tags because I don't have any. Um, I might have a couple of fall tags. But I don't have any Halloween tags and fall and stuff like that. Um, I don't know how many Halloween tags I'll be making. But I thought I'd go ahead and cut them out. And um, usually when I work on my Cricut, um, I don't like bring it out to... Um, like if you're working on a project, you're making a card. And you say, oh, okay, I need to cut something out. Well, I usually don't do it that way. I usually, when I bring my Cricut out, I cut all kinds of stuff. And um, I cut out leaves, tags, whatever I'm not going to use right now, I still cut it out. Just so I might use it for a project or I might put it in a, a goodie bag or something like that. So I like cutting out all kinds of stuff and then um, organizing them and things and putting them in clear bags. I'm all about clear bags. I'm always using them. So um, anyways, I wanted to come on here to show you this beautiful, beautiful glitter paper that cuts so nicely on the Cricut. And I have worked on a glitter paper and some were too thick, some were too cheap, it would tear the paper. Even if my blade was fine, it was new, you know, I didn't have a problem with that. Um, I have the Cricut Expression. It's, um, it's when they first came out. My mom had um, bought it for me for my birthday and um, I've had it ever since. It's a very old one. Um, but, you know, because my mom bought it for me, I use it a lot, as much as I can. And um, I always think about upgrading and getting a new one, but I won't do that until, um, until this runs to the last, then maybe I'll think about it. But um, until then, you know, this is the one that I have. And anyways, so these are the tags that I cut out beautiful tags I love these tags and then the stars I cut out were these look how beautiful these are can you see how beautiful these are um, let me show you sorry you guys I'm in the um, dining area only because I get great light in here and um, there's more windows in here and to place all my stuff on the table and all that this table is very a big wooden antique table and um, I love this table and it's very hard so I'm able to put everything on here and work at the same time so that's why I have everything out here so these are the stars look how glittery these stars are I think they're very glittery and they cut very nicely these are the back so um, if you're wondering, okay, well, what kind of glitter paper, I mean, kind of paper is that? And then these are the small ones. And you know what these remind me of? Um, these remind me of Heidi Swap stars. 
that you see in the package and that you buy and all that stuff so um let me show you these small stars look at how aren't those great for halloween christmas new year's i mean it's just awesome look at them i love them so let me go ahead and show you the paper that i used um and see i just cut out some right now and look at these little ones that I wanted to cut out too. I wanted some little mini ones. So let me um, look at these little ones. How cute is that? I mean, really. Let me um, see. This these ones are mini, so I can make you make them smaller. But I thought. And then I did some, um, I don't know if you can see that. The tags that I did on that, oh my God, let me, okay. So, uh, let me see here. Um, so this is the one that, um, I'm trying to, oh yeah, this is the one that I use for the stars. Because you're probably saying, oh, okay, what cartridge is that? So this is the one, this is the old one. And this is for the stars that I use. And they have different other ones. And I also use this one, I think, for the tags, too. So this is a good one. At one time, I was going to get rid of it. But I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to keep it because I know I'll use it. Even though they have new ones out there. But I still hold on to this. So I use the stars and the tags on this one. So if you have this one or if you have that online um crooked library or whatever i don't have that um i wouldn't even know how to connect it to this one and i don't have a laptop um my laptop i'm gonna fix it probably next month so right now i just have a tablet so that's why i haven't done it but anyways so those are the stars and that's the one that i use for the tags now for the glitter paper that I used is this one. So it's by Recollection Paper Pad and they're very reasonable price. I don't remember how much, but it sure wasn't $19.99. And it has so many different colors. And you know, this thing about this is that the paper, let me show you. Um, I use this one. Because I, I punched out some. One of my punchers. I punched out some clouds. Now look at this. Thin. Glitter paper. And it doesn't rip. It feels real smooth. No glitter. Comes out at all. And it's very smooth. Like they got sandpaper. And they sand it down or something. That's how smooth it is. And I was looking at the glitter paper to which one to get. And there were some other ones that were real thick. And I'm like, oh, I don't want to do that. Even though I have a Cricut, I try to be careful with the blades that because if you cut through thicker stuff, um, your blade works harder. Especially for my Cricut because it's an older brand. And um, I've had it, I don't even know how long. I've had it for a very long time. Um, I think I've had it, let's see, probably about nine years I've had it. So, um, anyways, uh, so this was thin glitter paper, and I knew I was just going to cut more than one, and this was perfect. And this paper works awesome. So, if you see this one, try to pick this one up. This is by Recollection. And you get 20 sheets, and these are 12 by 12. And I and these are all the colors. Oh yeah, I forgot to flip through. I don't know if I did that with you guys. So it has purple, it has pink, it has silver, it has brown. I'm using up um, all the browns right now. But it has all kinds of colors. There's also another pack that comes with other colors I mean another one so I'm gonna go back and get that one after I use this one up but um, here's another one that I picked up that I want to cut out and these are embossed neutrals and I'm sure you see these these were like five dollars 
and these are by Craftsmith and you get 42 sheets and as you can tell they're all embossed perfect for fall and Halloween so these are the colors that it comes with and you can tell they're all embossed so I'm going to use some of these colors right now as soon as I'm done with this and so I'm just working on that and this is my newest one I got in the summertime I got this one I picked up this one this was only like 10 bucks and you know they're pricey so if I see them on clearance on sale that's the only time I purchase them so um so I don't do eBay and stuff so um when I see them on sale I try to pick them up so uh this one was ten dollars in the summer and it has all these awesome cutouts and i cut um these teapot right here oh my god it came out so nice so i want to try to cut out the coffee cup and see how that comes out and then it has an owl here too you see that and you guys know I love my owls. So um, it cuts out really nice owls. You see that pink owl? So anyways, uh, so that's what I'm doing. And I just wanted to come on here and do that with you. And I'll be stamping some of these. I have an idea for these. And uh, I'm going to stamp some of these out. And then this new one that I got on clearance during the summer. So I'm going to cut out some of this stuff too. Um, I have uh, I have some videos coming up. I have a, a planner update. I know you guys really loved um, looking at my planner and showing you what I do in my planner. So I have a planner coming up. I also have a small haul coming up um, from the weekend. So I will have that up soon. Um, I'm just trying to work on some projects. I have um, some update of what's going on with me. I have that to do with you guys. And so um, I'm going to cut it short just because I got to get some stuff done. And I will have some videos up soon. I promise. <laughs> so um, don't forget to comment. And, um, oh yeah, and I will be sharing in that one video about the um, challenge giveaway. I got some news about that, and um, you guys can tell me your feedback. But anyways, I will see you guys soon. Um, don't forget to comment, and if you're not a subby, please subscribe. Um, if you can, give me a thumbs up. I would really love that. Um yeah so thank you for my new subscribers and my devoted ones i can't believe it's just going up you know every other day and i just so appreciate that you know you really like my videos you know so anyways i will talk to you soon have a great day and i might put up one of those videos today if i have time but if not i will have them up soon bye you guys i hope this helps um it's just a little tip of if you're looking for some kind of glitter paper, this would be awesome. And um, so anyways, I will talk to you soon. Bye, you guys.